I strongly agree here with Ms. Jada's comment that a lot of the landlords should not be landlords. So let's start off with a few of the things, most common mistakes that I see when I'm representing landlords when they are just getting started. So for starters off, if you're a landlord, you need to be asking yourself, is this a property that I want to live in? Do I see myself living in this condition? And the reason I'm saying that, it's because a lot of the times you guys as landlords think that it's okay to do the bare minimum and give it to the tenant the way it is. So what happens is the house starts falling apart, the tenant starts asking for repairs, and then you get upset. A lot of the times the landlord does not understand the market that they're in and they have no idea when to increase or decrease the rent price. And one thing that I see very common is that they don't understand that are not all properties are going to appreciate the same way at the same time. Landlords that don't consider pets or pet policies and they have no idea how this is going to turn out and how much money this is going to cost. The landlords that like to do the one-year lease. One-year lease passes on pretty quick. You should be doing two to three year minimum because a lot of the times what happens is the tear and wear of the property comes with tenants moving in and out, scraping your floors, furniture going in and out, appliances and whatnot because one year it sounds like a lot, but it goes pretty fast. Not taking pictures of the rental property before the tenants move in and after. So normally what I like to do is when I'm representing tenants, I will go and take pictures of the entire house before we execute on that final contract. And I will attach all the pictures along with the executed contract. So when time comes, whether my landlord is going to use me again to renew the lease or they're going to do it on their own, they have pictures to base themselves on, on the condition of the property for the next upcoming lease. Following along, not doing property inspections. You should be doing minimum of two property inspections per year if you have any rentals. Now, if you if it's a brand new house and you just install any everything, then you know there's little to no chances that you're gonna need anything repaired. But if you haven't repaired things like your HVAC plumbing roof, anything like that that's major in your house in a while, you probably need to be doing inspections before the tenant moves in and after they move out or sometime a six months after the tenant has been settled just to make sure that they are good following along with that not having benders on your speed dial in case that something goes wrong because you as a landlord need to understand that repairs are going to be asked it's not if it's about when so when the time comes that you need to have benders electric electricians plumbers roofers uh, landscapers, you need to have everything ready to go for whenever something goes out at your rental. And last one, not keeping up with the late fees. This really is going to hurt you at the end of how much money you're actually going to net from your rental income because if you have a tenant that is constantly paying late more than half of the year, there's a good chance that when time comes, you probably don't need to renew that lease and you need to get new tenants.